So what happens to a walking simulator when you take away the walking part? Well, you get left with a sitting simulator, I suppose. Um, well, at least that's the concept behind airplay mode from AMC. Which is exactly what you get here. You take your seat in coach on a commercial airline and you fly uh, from one destination to another. That's it. What do you do when you're on an aeroplane? Well, exactly everything you can do here apart from get up and go to the toilet. Um, yeah. It's, a, it's an interesting game is airplane mode where I, I went into it very sceptical of oh, I was just another low random type game and essentially it is but that's not exactly a bad thing um so you sit there you and you you can see like the, the plane has to go through its pre-flight checks it has to wait for its moment to be able to take off um, and you have to go into the air, you have to make sure you've got your seatbelt on, which you will get reprimanded for if you don't, by the way. Um, and then you can fiddle with basically bits on your seat, uh, the window, you can close the blinds, you can watch in-flight movies and cartoons, uh, you can listen to music, play some god-awful games, um, the sort of god awful games that I think you would expect to find on a an old set top box or on a screen on the back of an airplane seat, I suppose. Um, you can see your flight's information if that's what you want. You can play with the the aircon, um, and yeah, you just sit there. You can pick up the in flight magazine and the safety instructions. You can read those. Um, and there is a uh, crossword you can do and there's a uh, sudoku you can do um oh well, it took me a little minute oh, a little while to figure out how to actually do the sudoku and crosswords um because there seems to be no way to click on and bring them up or do anything and that's because you literally have to do everything so i found this out by getting my carry-on uh, from underneath the seat opening that up plugging in the headphones which was really interesting by the way you had to plug in the headphones to get sound from the in-flight tv um which might seem like a minor thing but i thought it was very clever actually a very clever little feature um but there's a book in there that you can read and it doesn't do that thing like a lot of games do where oh you've got a book uh, but to read it properly we'll put up the text properly on screen nice and flat no you actually have to read the book and turn the pages manually and it's a full novel in there so you can read the entire thing and you get time because it's a real-time flight so the one i played was a two and a half hour flight um and unfortunately the the footage stopped recording quite soon into it i'm not sure why i probably pressed a shortcut or something accidentally um so pulling stuff out pulled a pen out and realized you could draw on anything that could be drawn on which i thought was really cool and i used that to attempt the crossword which i failed at but then to actually do a sudoku which i completed because yeah, okay a sudoku um and yeah done that and you can pull out your phone um there's photos of cats on your phone um you can take take photos no selfies uh, but you can take photos, which is just basically off the back seat. Take photos of the back seat or the window, I suppose, if you want. Um, and yeah, you just enjoy the flight. And it's not a game. It's not a game. It's clearly not a game. Um, it's uh, an experience, I suppose. And I can't say it's good. Um, and I was very cynical. But here's the thing i was playing it well, i say playing it i had it on i had it running monitor was there i fiddled around with the sudoku um read a couple of pages of the book just to see how far it would go and then flick through the rest um 
watched the Bugs Bunny cartoon that was on offer and then I just potted around on my actual phone um, and put on a podcast, listened to the podcast, just sat there in my seat and the next thing I knew it was, it was time to land and went through the landing process and yeah, that was it. Um, I don't even know what this game is. I don't even know what it's trying to appeal to. Is that you know it's AMC? So there's this because it's AMC. There's this um this little this little mobile wedding on your in-game mobile where you can dress up a zombie um from The Walking Dead. So there's that tie-in. And part of me's half expecting this to be some kind of viral guerrilla like guerrilla marketing for um a walking dead game or new series of the walking dead or just something amc related because it just seems like a really bizarre theme for for amc to publish um and i can't say it's good but i can't say it's bad either it's just what it is and i suppose it nails the feeling of being on a on, on a flight um i've not been on many planes and i must be i've never been on one that's had a a, um, a a television in the back of the seat before i've only ever flown like easyjet or ryan there a couple of times we've been out to spain um so you assume that the actual on-screen stuff is like this um so it's better coach than i've ever been in but yeah it's it's something get it i don't know i really don't know whether you should get it um Every part of me wants to say, like, it's it's rubbish. It, it, it's, you know, it's just, how can anyone charge a tenner for this? But I've played it. Well, I've sat there through it. And whilst I won't pick it up to play again, just to put on, if I'm just listening to a podcast, I think I'd have this on. Um, reminds me of... Um, years ago you could get like a vhs of someone just driving around the m25 and that that was it um you just drove the m25 and it was like that's all the vhs was well this is kind of what this is but like digital um yeah it's, a, it's an odd it's an oddity but i'm glad this exists i'm glad someone's gone do you know what would be a good idea and then made it I think a tenor's a bit too steep, unless this is something else is going to be born from it. Um, but as a as an idea, as a concept, yeah, I'm all for it. I'm all for this. Um, it's available on Steam. I say it's just just under a tenner um, for those that want it. Um, literally, if you fancy a real time flight, then give it a go um, and enjoy. A sitting simulator. That's what it is. Um, yeah, so let me know. Uh, what what other oddities have you played where you know it shouldn't be good, but you're somehow enamoured with it? Um, we've all got games or, or, or things like that that we, we, we seem to like. Um, and, of course, if you do enjoy our videos, please do like and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.